Shintis and Battery Plus para sa DJI Mini 3 from Shopee. Tara, unbox natin. Compatible rin ito para sa DJI Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4. Pero, hindi sa Mini 4 Pro. Ang binayad ko sama na shipping to Zamboanga City is 3,166. 38.50 mAh nga pala ito compared sa 2,400 mAh capacity ng original battery ng DJI Mini 3. Clear ko lang guys, hindi ito original battery from the DJI brand. Third party item ito. Budget friendly battery kasi ang hanap ko, kaya ito napili kong bilhin. From the reviews ng buyers nito sa Shopee, napaka positive ng mga feedbacks. Kaya pinikit ko na mga mata ko at nag-check out na ako. And finally, ito na yung battery ngayon. After this unboxing, charge ko lang ito then flight test tayo kagad. Wow! Everything looks familiar naman guys. But, it feels different. Mabigat siya. I hope na mabasa nyo, no? 3850mAh. Pero para makilatis natin ang mabuti, compare natin ito sa urig na battery ng DJI Mini 3. After comparison, physically masasabi kong kambal tong dalawang battery na to. Wala akong makita ng physical difference sa kanila. Except of course yung sticker label. Kahit yung kulay at feel nung texture ng plastic body, parehas na parehas eh. Which is a good initial impression of course. Pero, ang pinakahahatol dito is yung flight time. Since higher MH capacity to, we expect longer flight time than the standard DJI Mini 3 battery. Papunta na tayo dun sa revealing part na yun guys. Watch till the end of the video, okay? At papakita ko sa inyo ang flight time comparison. Okay mga gulong, this was last night. Na-fully charge ko na yung dalawang battery. Yung sa right side, yung original battery ng DJI Mini 3. Yung sa left naman is yung Kintesan Battery Plus. Tara, we are ready for the flight time comparison test. Welcome to Tumaga Lunsuran Road, Sambuanga City. Pasensya na, wala mo ng aerial video guys, okay? Strictly test lang ito ng battery. Ang unang nakasalang guys is yung standard battery from the DJI Mini 3. Yung original bundled battery na kasama dito. So, take note natin ang flight time nito kapag fully charged siya. Then, we'll compare it with the Kintesan Battery Plus from Shopee. So, ito na. Check natin yung flight time update. It's, uh... Kita ba? It's, uh, 33 minutes. It's, uh, 32 minutes flight time for the standard battery. Estimated lang ito, guys, no? Nasa 97% lang yung battery, actually. Siguro, if 100%, baka makuha natin yung company claim na 34 minutes flight time. Ilalandi ko lang itong DJI Mini 3, then swap ko yung Kitasan battery. Tapos, take off ulit tayo for the continuation of the test. At this point, ang naka-install na battery sa drone is yung Kitasan battery plus na. Inaantay ko lang magbigay ng time estimate yung RC. As sabi ko earlier, we expect longer flight time with this third-party battery. So, hindi urig guys, okay? Kapag original DJI Intelligent Battery Plus kasi ito, prepare to shell out 5,000 pesos at least. Itong Kintesan Battery Plus kasi is only 3,166 sama na shipping. So material talaga yung price difference. So anyway, ito yung flight time estimate for the Kintesan Battery Plus. It's around uh, 41 minutes, no? If you notice, nasa 96% yung battery. I'm guessing kulang pa yung charge ko. Maybe if 100% ito, we could get uh, 45 minutes or maybe 47 minutes flight time. Oh there, nakita nyo, nag 42 minutes pa. So, possible talaga at 100%, we could get that 47 minutes flight time. And with that, we are done mga kagulong. I hope this video was helpful for you, no? In case you're interested to buy, nasa video description yung Shopee seller link, yung battery. If you purchase directly from my link, may konting porsyente po ako sa sale. And I thank you in advance for your support. Dahil sa inyo, it's possible for me to create meaningful content like this one. Ingat parati mga kagulong at see you sa susunod kong video.